Hello and welcome, this is Jilly Cube and I am coming with something a little bit different than the um, acrylic pouring. It's still a little art project but something a little bit different. I have that lovely canvas that came already black, gessoed, so it's you know pre-coated black. And what I'm doing to prep my canvas is I'm using my global keep it simple pouring medium but I'm not diluting it I'm just um, pouring it on the canvas to coat it in readiness for my a galaxy effect So the canvas is all coated nicely now and what I'm going to do is add this galaxy glitter. So it was something that um, was sent to me by the online store Capriel Shabby Chic quite a long time ago but it's been sitting on my shelf and I've used it in a few pro products, <laughs> a few creations should I say. But I thought what better to add it to this black canvas it's going to really, you know, uh, be effective because it's sort of black and silver and they're um, quite really light but, but really lovely, um, lovely effects from them. So I'm adding it to my canvas now and then I will allow my canvas to fully dry and then I'll come back tomorrow. So it is the next day that canvas is all fully dry now um, and what I'm doing is I'm just using a bit of my um, masking tape to help stick this um, stencil that I'm going to use, the feather stencil, in place. But as you see it dried with a really lovely shine on it because I used my pouring medium to basically adhere that lovely glitter to my canvas it's dried really flat and with a lovely shine on the back so part of um, the job is already done there now so it's just for this stencil and I'm going to use some uh, soft molding paste or, or texture paste to do a few of those feathers on my galaxy background so it's something different and I found it really enjoyable and interesting. So I hope that you guys give it a go. You can do it with your uh, children, probably not really young children, but certainly teenage children or above nine or ten, I guess, would really love doing this project because you can get a little bit messy, but taking it nice and slow, it's um, very enjoyable. So just using that little spatula there and I'm putting quite thick coating on the texture paste because when I do pull the um, stencil off I really want the um, stencil 
to stand out, to for the texture to actually stand out off the canvas, not be really flat and lifeless. I want it to kind of bounce out off the canvas. But um, as soon as I get the stencil off, I'd love you guys to let me know what you think, whether to, I mean, I did leave just the stencil uh, texture paste white because I had those silver background in the um, galaxy effect but I think that it would probably be um, a lovely idea to add that stencil with uh, colour you know in the texture paste so let me know what you think when all is revealed Oh, 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 wow. I don't know if it was putting that background the way I did with my pouring medium on the background, but it really made my texture effect like really adhere well and come out really defined. I quite often find if I use a stencil that it can be quite messy when you pull it up and not so defined, but this worked absolutely gorgeous I wanted to stencil 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 all over it but I think that's so effective so what do you guys think I'm leaving this one white but what do you think um, in future coloring that stencil or you know different stencils I could do with the texture let me know what you think look how lovely it looks as a wall art it's um sort of Definitely, you know, just having the two colours is very lovely and it suits anybody that likes that kind of monochromatic look. But I was just so excited with this. Um, it, it turned out beautiful. Hope you think so. Let me know. OK, bye for now, my lovelies. I will see you again tomorrow. There's no cure. So this was... Um sparkly loveliness can you see the sparkle in it this was um done uh using a stencil and um texture paste gosh i'm having a senior moment and so um the actual glitter in there was like a galactic you'll see the video please pop over to see the video it's up on my youtube channel today um, so this was a fun piece to do something with um, texture in it and when i'd finished i waited for it all to dry and then i resined over it and added the dragonfly glaze into the resin so you can see that really <laughs> feathers in space so next time i might uh, add colour to the feather with the, you know just put some colour in the texture paste and um, but super pleased with that something different sparkly I'm sure one of my teenage grandchildren will love that so another uh, sort of cloudy um, day in paradise today but nevertheless it's about 22 degrees and winter in Australia so still good though Okay, have a wonderful time. My love will shine.